Uh, this one gives you a little bit of a hint for what values you should choose for your x and y table. We want positive values, okay, because it's trying to make us graph only on the right side. So let's do the same thing we did in that last video. Let's make y equals x squared minus 20x plus 100. Let's make our data table. If you plug in 0 in for x, ooh, that one comes out nice, you get 100 for y. Um, what else do we have for x values? Let's try to plug in 2. So 2 squared makes 4. 20 times 2 makes 40 plus 100. So it makes 64. That might be enough because last time we only need two data points. So let's try to graph it. We want a parabola. Oh, we want an upward facing parabola. Uh, yeah, a vertical parabola. Zero on the x. Oh, we don't have 100 on the y. Ah, so we got to get some different data points. We couldn't plot that first point, 0, 100, because it just wasn't in their graph. So let's try to make some other data points. If you plug in a 3, 3 squared makes 9. 20 times 3 makes 60. So if you simplify that in your calculator, that makes 49. Maybe if you plug in a 4, 4 squared makes 16. 4 times 20 makes 80. A negative 80 plus 100 makes 20. 20 plus 16 makes 36. Let's see if we can fit those in the graph. Click our parabola button. Um, 3, comma 49. 3 on the x, 49 on the y, that doesn't fit. Oh, man, it only goes up to 20, so i got to keep going here. Um, let's try plugging in 10. Let's go big or go home. If you plug in 10, 10 squared makes 100. 20 times 10 makes negative 200. Oh, this one comes out to be zero. Uh, let's try maybe eight. If you plug in eight, eight squared makes 64. Eight times 20 makes 160. So 100, negative 160 plus 100 makes negative 60. Negative 60 uh, plus 64 makes 4. Okay, those are two points we can definitely fit. 10 on the x, 0 on the y, put a dot. 8 on the x, 4 on the y. Probably should enlarge it more than what I have on my screen because I couldn't quite tell if that was 4 on the y, but looks like it was. Let's see what else I'd say. X-intercepts, where it crosses the x-axis. This crosses the x-axis at 10 from our data table. Oops. Ordered pair. Oh, they want an ordered pair. I'm sorry. So an ordered pair means like a point. It crosses at 10, comma, 0. That's what they want. That's 